Morning, so I could show my history report, my calculator, and my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. Here's my coin. I better not leave home without it. Mr. Firebird will really like my history report. Find our friend, Mr. Firebird. Hi, Mr. Firebird. Welcome, Footfoot. I was just putting the finishing touches on my time portal. Wow, a real time portal? Where can you go in it, Mr. Firebird? Nowhere, nowhere at all. I don't think. You see, it's not meant for actual travel, but it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat. As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great. And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. <laughs> What was I thinking? I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. I can't wait to get a hold of that coin. I'll finally get to see if all my hard work has paid off. 
I can't wait to get a hold of that coin. I'll finally get to see if all my hard work has paid off. Just as soon as you give me a coin, I will give you a look back into time you will never forget. Here's the coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, this is not a mere coin, Putt-Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle! <laughs> Holy goddamn! This shouldn't be happening! Not good at all, Putt Putt. My calculations show that until everything is brought back to the present time, I won't be able to shut the portal. Don't worry, Mr. Firebird. I'll go in and find everything. Once you find all your things, we can close this time portal for good. Be careful, Putt-Putt, and good luck! Wow! It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality! These must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go first. Looking around in the time continuum One thing have always been One, two, three, four You're battling through it to places in time for you That's where you'll find Pep And my homework? We feel it sad that your homework is gone And everything's wrong but it won't be for long But when, when you look up you'll see the time doesn't stop Because it goes on forever Goes on forever? Goes on forever and see the king and see dinosaurs and really neat future things when you return you'll know what you'll learn pay close attention stay on your mission to see new dimensions and, and when, when you look, look up you'll know that time doesn't stop because it goes on forever with you Beam me up! <laughs> Whoa! This must be the age of the dinosaurs! I wonder how I can move this thing so I can drive through! Well, I just know what hang on a sec, I got a little boobo in my ass. Meep. 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 Hey, it's a rock in the shape of a circle. Whoa, it's a big one. <laughs> Wowie zowie! It's a real live Brachiosaurus! Ms. Brachiosaurus, and who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Putt-Putt, and I've come from the future. I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. That strange something happens to be my tail, Putt-Putt. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks! 
Yay! Ms. Brachiosaurus, I was wondering, how tall are you when you're standing up? I happen to be, if I do say so myself, the tallest dinosaur in the world, 39 feet, give or take an inch. Wow! That's as high as a four-story building! Thanks a lot, Ms. B. It's a rock in the shape of a pentagon. Whoa, it's heavy! Now I'm off to explore the age of the dinosaurs. Hello, I'm Putty. Do you need some help? Yes, but first you gotta tell me what in the heck is a putt putt? I never laid eyes on anything quite like you before. I'm a car, and I'm visiting from the future. Whoa! Imagine that! I'm Will. Glad to meet you. Say, putt, how'd you like to help me figure out how to move this basic pile of rocks? Then I can build me a bridge and go home. I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. Full speed ahead! That was fantastic! Stupendous! Putt, you cars from the future sure know how to fix your basic bridge. Thanks! Uh-oh, big time problem alert! Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job! It looks like we need a rock shaped like your basic pentagon. Will, guess what? I found a rock, and I think it will fit in the hole in the bridge. Well, what do you know? So, Putt, any luck finding a rock? I sure did, Will. Now all I have to do is put it in place and you can go home. Excellent! Fantastic! Thanks a gazillion putt! Well, I'm homeward now. Come visit any old time you like. Uh, oh, well, I, I can't quite reach. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. It's an apatosaurus. An itchy and a horribly miserable apatosaurus at the moment. My name's Putt-Putt, and maybe I can help you. What a positively inspired idea. You could just roll on over to my back and scratch away this terrible itch. But then I'd have to drive over your head. Not a problem, Putt-Putt. I'm tough. I can take it. Just oh, scratch that spot, please. Go a little to the left. A bit more to the left. Oh, now go up just a bit. Oh, yes. Oh, now go a bit to the left. A little more to the left. Ah, oh. now go up just a bit. Yes, yes. 
Ooh, now go a bit to the left. Oh, yes! Oh, that's it. Oh, that's so much better. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Mind if I drive over your tail to the other side? As far as I'm concerned, Putt-Putt, you could drive on me all day and night. Be my guest. Thanks! <laughs> Hello, Pot. Hello to you, too, Will. What's a car from the future like you doing in a past like this? I'm looking for some things I lost. My history report, my lunchbox, my calculator, and my dog, Pep. You've lost me too, but I haven't the faintest idea what those things are. Basic look to you, putt. Thanks, Will. Hard to imagine, but I think you're basically the first car from the future I've had the pleasure of meeting. And you're definitely the first prehistoric wheel I've ever met. Hard to imagine, but I think you're basically the first car from the future I've had the pleasure of meeting. And you're definitely the first prehistoric wheel I've ever met. Where are my manners? Can I interest you in some fabulous, delicious, nutritious, primordial soup made it myself? Sure, that would be great. Compliments of the house. Mmm, primordial soup tastes terrific. Hey, this is really an interesting bowl. Basically made that myself too. Why don't you keep it? I have another bowl. Gee, thanks, Will. Ah, oh, don't mention it. More primordial soup? Yes, please. It tastes great. Mmm, mm, good. The name's Compy, short for Compagnatus. That there is my very hungry buddy, Triceratops. Glad to meet you. My name's Putt-Putt. You don't know how hard it is to be best friends with a Triceratops. I mean, I'm two feet long on a good day, and he's at least 36 feet long. It's a heck of a thing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
My buddy here is the original master of fast food. Give him some food, he'll eat it fast. Wanna play Follow the Volcano? All right, watch this now real closely. Okay, now you go. Now see if you can... Bet you're sitting there thinking this is gonna be easy. To quit the game, just click on the flashing arrow. All right, now you're in for a real challenge. this before, huh? If you want to leave, now's the time to click on the old flashing. A vicious, strange something or other about to attack. I just know it. No, it isn't. I'm Putt Putt. I never hurt anyone, honest. Promise? <laughs> of course I promise. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel much better. Say, would you mind helping me get my calculator? It's stuck up on that ledge. I'll sure try. Arms are just too short. That's okay. I'm sure there's a way you can help. I just have to think of it. I have an idea. Maybe we can use some of these rocks to make a ramp up to the ledge. Then I can get my calculator. I could help you do that. I'm pretty strong, you know. That would be great. Maybe we should build from the biggest to the smallest. That's a good idea. So, uh, which one's first? Let's move that one. <laughs> Let's move that one. There. Let's move that one. <laughs> Let's move that one. Huh? <laughs> 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 
over there. Let's move that one. <sighs> Let's move that one. <sighs> Let's move that one. <laughs> All right, we built the ramp. Now I can get my calculator. Now all I have to do is get Pep, my lunchbox, and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. Have you ever met such a chicken-hearted Tyrannosaurus Rex in your whole life? <laughs> Sometimes I'm even afraid of my own shadow. <laughs> you're the only Tyrannosaurus Rex I've ever met in my whole life, and I think you're nice. You do? Gosh, you can't mean it. <laughs> Thanks for helping with the rocks. I don't need another rock. Will's bridge is fixed. I must be in the medieval times. Another rock, Will's bridge is fixed. Fancy carriage. I'm not a carriage exactly. I'm a car from the future. My name's Putt Putt. I'm very happy to meet you, Putt Putt. I'm Princess Chaffee. And this is my best friend and loyal subject, Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We went charging back to the castle as fast as we could when I hit a bump and my wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward, and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my goodness gracious sakes. Good thanks to both of you. 
You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with the blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps we'll see you later, Pet Pet. Bye! <laughs> It sure is pretty here in medieval times. Wow, this is some castle. Yes, it is. Only the rains have rusted the gates shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. Maybe I can find something that would work. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. <coughs> it's rusted shut. I need to find something to help open it. It's rusted shut. I need to find something to help open it. Howdy do, little buddy. You new in town? I'm Putt Putt. I'm visiting from Car Town, far in the future. Well, dang along a ding dong. That is something, ain't it? I'm Virgil Clyde. A rope. This might come in handy. Look at that huge pile of hay! Out, out in the world are many things I am told Like cowboys and cowgirls so true They roam far and wide, cross the countryside Searching blue waters for gold Well, howdy, stranger. You're not from around these here parts. No, I'm not. I'm Putt-Putt, and I've traveled here from the future. Sure you have. The name's Lurleen. What can I do for you? I'd like to look around, if you don't mind. Not a bit. Not at all. It says, Chewy Fruity Wagon Wheels. I'd like some Chewy Fruity Wagon Wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to come back when I have one. <laughs> Well, I'll be sweating. If that don't beat all. 
Mexico! Hey, and howdy once again, Putt Putt. How's my little tin can buddy from the future? Just fine, Lurleane. So, you traveled far to come see us here in Tower Flats, Putt Putt? Only from about 150 years in the future. Well, I'll be swaggered. Conductor needed. Five cents. Hey, Sonny. You didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a junior conductor. Pique your interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure. What do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up. Why, I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. You still interested in being a junior conductor, Sonny Boy? Offer still stands. Sure, I'd love to. Well then, how's about oiling me up? This scritch scratch in my throat's about to drive me plumb crazy. Don't worry, I'll oil you. You can count on it. It's an oil can. <laughs> A little on the wheels will do nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. Ah. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, my partner, so far, you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that oil can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks! Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of water. And for the life of me, I can't reach that spigot way up there on that water tower. How's about putting that nog into work and finding something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up? I'll bet I can do that. Toby, I found a rope, and I think it's just the thing to do the trick. I thought you'd be the kind of cowpoke who'd be handy with a rope trick. <laughs> Now I'm officially in business thanks to you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. Well, Buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to take you? Next stop, Gold River. Dad Blam, I wonder if... Nah, fool again. <laughs> Well, I'll be spreading jiggered! Excuse me, hello? Well, howdy, young'un. Hey, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm panning for gold. Wow, there's really gold in that river? Uh, uh, what, what's that to say? Uh, what, you can't get hold of a quiver? Are you gonna shoot a bow and arrow some? I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I said. 
Have you been panning this river for very long? Have I been planning to buy her some salad tongs? Now, who might you be talking about, boy? That's my calculator. Oh, nope. Not what I thought. Hot and dry. It's the desert. Woody, look at that! Animal tracks! I'll bet Pep is here somewhere. Over here! Now all I have to do is get my lunchbox and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. All aboard for Hubcap Hill, Tire Flat's very own ghost town. <laughs> All aboard for the old rock mine. Hang on, we're headed back to Tire Flat Station. Here's a nickel for the Chewy Fruity Wagon Wheels. Help yourself, it's all yours. That's the 
stone bull Will gave to me. It's really ancient. That's the stone bull Will gave I'd like some chewy fruity wagon wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to come back when I have one. Whoa! This must be the future! I wonder what year it is! Pajama Sam! Yes. Would you look at that? <laughs> For golly sakes! Now aren't you the cutest little guy on four wheels? What can I do to help you? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I was hoping I could have a look around. First things first, you can call me Miss Electra. And second, you go ahead and make yourself comfy and stay just as long as you ever love and please. Thanks, Miss Electra. I will. Oh! Excuse me, Miss Electra. What kind of machine is that? Why, it's a battery-making machine. You can help me make some if you like. Wow, that sounds like fun. For golly sakes! Okay, Putt-Putt, you can make me a battery with 12 volts. Just punch in the number of volts you want and the machine, bless its heart, will do the rest. Okay, I can do that. I'll start with one volt. I still need more volts of power so I can have a total of 12. One plus six equals seven volts. I still need more volts of power so I can have a total of 12. <laughs> One plus four plus six equals 11 volts. I still need another volt of power so I can have a total of 12. Four plus six equals 10 volts. I still need more volts of power so I can have a total of 12. <laughs> Two plus four plus six equals 12 volts. That's it, 12 volts of power. I'm all done, Miss Electra. For crying in the mud, you are the most helpful little car. Oh!
Welcome to the Paint O Rama 3000, the automated painterizer. I still need to get my history report and my lunchbox. Please select your new paint color. Scanning process initiated. Painting process initiated. Painting completed. We hope that your paint overall experience has been a pleasant one. I look good. Thank you. And enjoy your new color. Scanning process initiated. Painting process initiated. Painting completed. We hope that your paint overall experience has been a pleasant one. I look good. Thank you. And enjoy your new color. For golly sakes! Welcome to the Paint O Rama 3000, the automated painterizer. Scanning process initiated. Painting process initiated. Painting completed. We hope that your paint overall experience has been a pleasant one. I look good. Thank you. And enjoy for you. Wow! This fun zone looks great! I wonder what the video game of the future will be like. I can't wait to try the video game of the future! Welcome to our museum. I am Arthur T. Fact, the pre-programmed curator. But you may call me R.T. Fact. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I was hoping I could look around. That is acceptable. Please stay as long as your schedule permits. If you have any questions, I will answer them for you. Thanks! Hey, it's my lunchbox! Excuse me, Artifact. 
I think that lunchbox you have on display is mine. I am sorry, but I have no record in my memory banks that this particular lunchbox belongs to you. There were 4,362,000 of them manufactured in your time. But I'm sure that one's mine. It's got a picture of Smokey the Fire Engine on it. I cannot give it to you. Otherwise, I will not have an ancient food container on display. What if I gave you another ancient food container? Then could I trade it for my lunchbox? Yes, you could. Great! I think I have something you're really going to like in my glove box. Here's an ancient food container for you, Artifact. It's a really old stone bowl. I got it from a wheel way back in the dinosaur ages. The dinosaur ages, you say? How amazing. This will now be the oldest item we have in our museum. Here. Take the lunchbox. Thanks! Great! I got my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox back. Now all I have to do is get my history report, so Mr. Firebird can close the time portal. It's a newspaper, an ancient writing. It's an abacus, an ancient mathematics artifact. Welcome to the library. Excuse me, I'm Putt-Putt. I'm visiting from the past. I thought this was a library. Where's all your books? My, my, you are from the past, aren't you? Nowadays, all books can be found on our computer. Usually, when you find what you're looking for, I can make a copy for you. But unfortunately, at the moment, we're out of paper. By the way, my name's Darian. Darian? the librarian. Glad to meet you, Darian. The large pig was hungry. He ate three pink petunias. His pet dog ate the scraps. Darian said that I can't get a book right now. The greased pig was hungry. He ate three pink petunias. His pet dog ate the scraps. The greased pig was hungry. He ate three pink oranges. His pet rock ate the scraps. The flying pig was hungry. He ate three pink truffles. His pet iguana ate the scraps. The sneaky pig was hungry. He ate three pink shoes. His pet yak ate the scraps. The manatee found the missing t-shirts. Now all of the dogs will be happy. Is that confetti that they're throwing? The manatee found the missing bow ties. Now all of the beavers will be happy. Is that cheese that they're throwing? The manatee found the missing hats. Now all of the lizards will be happy. Is that fruit that they're throwing? The manatee found the missing lederhosen. Now all of the ants will be happy. Is that spaghetti that they're throwing? The bunnies cried when their instruments turned into fish, but they laughed when the audience turned into turtles. The penguins cried when their instruments turned into tacos, but they laughed when the audience turned into beetles. The puppies cried when their instruments turned into pizza, but they laughed when the audience turned into seagulls.
The rats cried when their instruments turned into cheese, but they laughed when the audience turned into umbrellas. Darian said that I can't get a book right now. Look, that monkey just jumped off the monkey bar so hard his shoes fell off. Hope he lands in that pile of sawdust. Look, that lizard just jumped off the curly slide so hard his shoes fell off. Hope he lands in that pile of leaves. Look, that goat just jumped off the tire swing so hard his shoes fell off. Hope he lands in that pile of old socks. Look, that panda just jumped off the buffalo so hard his shoes fell off. Hope he lands in that pile of ice cream. The lion is carrying a watermelon and a cheese log. He's balancing a fan on his head. The lion is carrying a telescope and a giant pickle. He's balancing a harp on his head. Which weighs more, a pound of lead or a pound of feathers? Susie writes the answer with a pen. Which weighs more, a pound of nails or a pound of crayons? Susie writes the answer with a spatula. Which weighs more, a pound of cat food or a pound of balloons? Susie writes the answer with a banana. Which weighs more, a pound of sponges or a pound of waffles? Susie writes the answer with an eel. The bear combs his hair with a hairbrush. He brushes his teeth with a toothbrush. Afterward, he'll wash his hands with soap. The bear combs his hair with a rake. He brushes his teeth with a pickle. Afterward, he'll wash his hands with cheese. The bear combs his hair with a donut. He brushes his teeth with a banana. Afterward, he'll wash his hands with eggs. The bear combs his hair with a branch. He brushes his teeth with a bacon strip. Afterward, he'll wash his hands with jelly. Yikes! The elephant is trying to ski on banana peels on a mountain of snow. Look out for the toast! Yikes! The elephant is trying to ski on electric eels on a mountain of butter. Look out for the watermelons! Yikes, the elephant is trying to ski on butter knives on a mountain of cereal. Look out for the gophers. Yikes, the elephant is trying to ski on pickles on a mountain of glue. Look out for the bean bags. That vampire has hot peppers instead of fangs. Can you find his friends the werewalrus and the mummy bunny? That vampire has piano keys instead of fangs. Can you find his friends the werewombat and the mummy beaver? That vampire has spaghetti instead of fangs. Can you find his friends the werewarthog and the mummy puppy? That vampire has mushrooms instead of fangs. Can you find his friends the werewaffle and the mummy python? Sam sleeps all snug in his bed, covered with cozy blankets. He dreams his socks are all missing.
Sam sleeps all snug in his bathtub, covered with cozy feathers. He dreams his socks are all itty-bitty. Sam sleeps all snug in his piano, covered with cozy fruit. He dreams his socks are all plaid. Sam sleeps all snug in his salad bowl, covered with cozy laundry. He dreams his socks are all dancing. Exit. Your food is in process. Welcome to the Petorama, the make-it-yourself pet food smorgasbord. You may make any kind of custom pet food simply by creating the animal you wish to feed and then pressing the food button. Thank you and have a pleasant day. This looks like fun! Your customized pet food is nearly ready. Look at that! Your food will be ready momentarily. Oh boy! This should help open that rusty gate. A thousand and one thank yous, Putt-Putt. Now we won't be late for story time.
happy bard, Max Wellington, who loves to play the lute. I once thought of being a piper, but I cannot play the flute. Hi, Woodward. Good to see you again, Putt-Putt. You're in for a regular treat, because Sir Poundalot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world, and that's the truth. Greetings, traveler. May I help you? My name's Putt-Putt. And I'm looking for something. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks! What's that you're making? It's a shield for King Chariot. It's beautiful. Thank you. More than anything, I love being a blacksmith. Woodward sure delivered a huge pile of firewood. Oh, that Woodward. Such a helpful little fellow. Still work to be done. That's the wood that Woodward delivered. Wow! This looks like some sort of game! Let's play with these balloons! Maybe we could shoot those crows away with them. Just show me where to let go of each balloon. If you want to quit the game, just click on the arrow. of mermaids so free who find lost treasure in the open sea. I like stories of far-off places, of unicorns and dragon chases. Tell me a joke about the cat who ate yarn when her babies were born they had sweaters on. We shall begin as soon as I find an appropriate passage. Welcome, ye stranger. What be your name? My name's Putt-Putt. And I am King Chariot. Thou hast arrived in time to hear a fantastic story. Excuse me, King Chariot, but I think that fantastic story happens to be my history report. I need to take it home with me. But then whatever would I read to the children of the kingdom? They would be so very disappointed to miss story time. You could read it to them and then give it back to me. Ah, but it is so interesting, I want to read it every day. Maybe I could find another story for you, and you could read that one to them instead. That is a splendid idea. Perhaps you can find me a story about... Hmm, let me see. A story about a pig. 
I just know you will find that book for my father, Putt-Putt. Thanks, Princess Chassie. You can count on me. With any luck, thou will find another storybook soon. I certainly hope so, King Chariot. Hello, I'm... Do, do not tell me. Ah, yes. You must be from the future. How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. Merlin the Magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away. And like all travelers, you must be looking for something. I sure am. Well, my friend. I believe you will find everything you are looking for. I hope you're right. to see me turn rock into gold? Boy, would I ever! <laughs> wow! That was amazing! Welcome to the library. Excuse me, Darian. Could you please make a book for me? Certainly, Putt-Putt. Which one do you want? The story about a pig. Coming right up. Here you go, sir. Now I have a book to give to King Chariot. King Chariot, here's your storybook. And here, Putt-Putt, is your history report. Thank you very much, King Chariot. Hot biggity, this is great! It looks like I got everything I needed to get. Come on, Pep, 
Let's travel back through time to Car Town and tell Mr. Firebird. Guess what? I did it! I did it! I found all my things! And Pep too! Congratulations, Putt Putt! I knew you would! Now I can finally show you my new school supplies! Excellent, Putt Putt! But first, I must close the time portal for good! We don't need any more disasters. Disasters? I don't know about that, Mr. Firebird. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Between you and me, I thought time traveling was the best fun ever. Well, I'm glad you had so much fun, Putt Putt. But according to my calculations, you're going to be late for school unless you hurry. Yipes, you're right, Mr. Firebird. I'll show you my report later. Here's my history report. <laughs> Now let me tell you what I learned. sang at a fairy court where brownies, elves, and the pixies dance. I swiped at a bug of the flying sort and knocked a pixie right out of his pants. The two were friends, as friends can be, following all the kingdom's trends and dressing up to a tea.
Do you want to play again?